listeners, this is Pushkala and we are going to see what is vanishing and exploding gradient problem in this session. So let's jump into the session. So before uh, starting into the vanishing and exploding gradient problem, we first have to know how this gradient problem might occur. So for that, let's say this is my neural network. This is my neural network. And usually while working through the neural network, the training phase, the neurons will be trained forward and during the backward propagation, the weights get adjusted. The weights is what we call the connections between the neurons. Neurons or a connection between the input and neurons, we call those uh, weights. So the weights get adjusted so that the network will uh, work optimally. So how this weight gets adjusted, we use something called stochastic gradient descent, SGD. Stochastic gradient descent. So using this stochastic gradient descent, you will have weights on the x-axis and errors on the y-axis, mostly some kind of errors on the y-axis. And you will have a curve somewhat like this. This is a bunch of weights with its respective error points where you will be uh, sliding towards the global minimum. So you will be jumping towards the end of the uh, curve so that when it reaches the global minimum, the loop stops. This is what stochastic gradient descent does. So what is called exploding gradient problem and vanishing gradient problem? We'll first go through what is vanishing gradient problem. Vanishing gradient problem. During vanishing gradient problem, let's say I have a curve like this. So I have one global minimum here. The When the weight, when the gradient reaches this point, then my uh, optimal weight is found out. So this is where I have to reach. But during vanishing gradient problem, the gradient is set way too small. That is, the value for the way gradient is way too small. So when that happens, the movement of the gradient is stuck. It will not move rapidly. It will uh, move way too slowly to reach the global minimum. Before the maximum iterations, let's say I'm running this uh, to reach the global minimum, I have the maximum of 30 iterations. So the 30 iterations will not be enough to reach this global minimum at this point. So that is what we call it as vanishing gradient problem, where the movement is not quite enough to reach the global minimum. Whereas, on contrary to this, we have exploding gradient problem. Exploding gradient problem. In this exploding gradient problem, where we'll be uh, having a similar type of uh, graph, let's say I'm taking this same graph. This is my global minimum here. To reach this, I have to move through the uh, uh, weights to reach here. <clears throat> so to obtain this, what happens is a, in exploding gradient problem is the gradient is set way too high. That means the jump here will be like this, too far from one another where it will be jumping uh, between the loops like this without actually going through the uh, going to the global minimum the weights will explode from uh, where we are to the next point so that is what we call it as gradient uh, exploding gradient problem where we can assume this is greater than one if it is too small we can say this is too much lesser than one so when this happens we will not find the global minimum in this point either when the uh, gradient is exploding. It is one time it is here and the next minute it is here and the next minute it is somewhere here. The gradient is jumping far too away from each other in this point. In this point as well, we will not get the global minimum. 
this is what we call it as exploding gradient problem. So this happens in most neural networks, uh, mostly in RNN networks. So if you want to avoid this problem, we can move into advanced techniques like LSTM and so on. You can avoid these problems in those kind of circuits. So thank you. If you have any doubts, leave it in the comment section.